My name is Aaron. I'm a paramedic here at SciFair Fire Department. Today, we're going to be showcasing the Technomount EMS monitor arm for the Stryker Power Pro 2 and going over the installation. The Technomount EMS safety arm clamp block system is intended for the Stryker Power Pro 2 only. The tools you'll need is a Torx T20, T30, T40, 3 16 inch Allen wrench, and a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. First, you'll need to put the stretcher into a position that you can work on the foot end of the stretcher. Lift the foot, hook the foot strap to the shoulder strap, and pull tightly. Hooking the straps ensures the stretcher is in a safe position so you can work underneath the foot end of the stretcher. Here you'll see the foot strap is connected to the shoulder strap. Next you'll want to remove the side rail panel. This contains four T20 screws. Please keep these screws till the end of the installation. Next, you'll want to move the IV pole. If the IV pole is on the patient right side of the stretcher, you'll want to take the T30 bolts out of the base of the IV pole and move it to the left rail. Please make sure the orientation of the IV pole is correct such that the IV pole lays down towards the foot end of the stretcher. Next is to take the IV pole clip out, four T30, bolts come out, go to the opposite side, and bolt back in. Next is to remove the bracket that holds the interface board to the bottom side of the stretcher. Four T20 screws come out and are saved for later use. The removal of this bracket is essential so the interface can slide back and forth for easier installation and removal of bolts later on. Next, using the 13 millimeter socket and or wrench, take the two nylock nuts off of the bottom of the bracket. The bolts these nuts are attached to are the center bolt and the patient head bolt. These two bolts will be taken out and discarded. Note the size of the bolts are T40. The bolt at the patient head end is going to be a tolerance fit. A Torx T40 is essential to remove the bolt. As you can see here, the center one removes easily. Next, you'll want to remove the clamp plate that is pre-existing. Using a 3 16 inch Allen wrench, the four bolts, two on the inside upper and two on the outside lower, will be removed. Some of these will be tight as they have Loctite on them. Here you'll see the clamp plate the two bolts and the four screws that have been removed. These will be discarded. The new kit comes with a clamp block, the clamp block reinforcing plate, four quarter 20 by inch and a quarter screws, two quarter 20 by one inch screws, two button head 5 16 18 inch and a quarter bolts, and the pre-existing nylock nuts that were removed before. Next, take the clamp block and place it in the place where the plate came off the side rail. To mount this plate, you'll use the inch and a quarter screws, two on the bottom outside, two on the top inside of the rail. Make sure you use blue Loctite on these. Next is the reinforcing plate. Make sure it is oriented in the right direction. Put it on the plate on the inside of the rail and line up the holes. Put the two bigger bolts through the holes. Remember, the one on the patient head screws in tight. With the pre-existing nylock nuts, place these on the bolts you just installed. Tighten them with a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. The recommended torque spec is 17 to 23 foot pounds. Next, take the one inch screws, put blue Loctite on them, and place them through the top holes of the reinforcing bracket. Tighten these snug. Once installation is complete, Please replace the side cover you removed earlier along with the U-bracket for the interface board underneath the stretcher. To place the arm, pull the center pin out. Place the arm in the block and rotate it along the long axis. Replace the pin and it's secure. To check operation, pull the red knob, lift the arm, flip it down, flip it back and it should secure by itself.